This science fair project nicely meets the core standards for integration of knowledge and ideas. It reads, translate quantitative or technical information expressed in words into a text into a visual form. The student's problem read, what is the success rate of sinking the basketball into the hoop using the backboard versus not using the backboard from five different angles? For doing the experiment, he had drawn the angles and measured the length on the sidewalk in chalk. Now for the science fair board, it's important to draw that diagram and include it in the presentation. Let's duplicate the shot placement diagram. We're going to start by drawing a dotted line. In black, but we could use a color across the top to show the placement of the hoop. We're going to draw a solid line now. And if we want to do it to scale, we can make it 9 inches long by watching the feedback area to represent the 9 feet. The next step is to auto frame the line and use the rotate function. Because we're going to be rotating it in 30 degree increments, I'm going to click on the step in 15 degree increments subcommand. So as I rotate this, notice the feedback area is showing me the positive and the negative angle. I'm going to go back to the previous frame and rotate it again to create this next one. This time I want 60 degrees. And I'm going to connect it. Previous, rotate, 90 degrees. Previous, rotate, 120 degrees. Previous frame, rotate, 150 degrees. Diagrams like this are valuable for a great many science and math topics, and when the students can use Graphics Toolbox technology to accurately diagram their data, it reinforces the material and produces a professional quality finished product. I hope I've been able to show you a meaningful representation of how valuable Graphics Toolbox is in the classroom, how it will help you to meet core curriculum standards, and how vital this technology is for preparing your students to be competitive in this highly visual world. I hope that you'll also see that the possibilities are endless on how Graphics Toolbox can be implemented across all subjects, with all ages and at all learning levels. You can see more projects and learn more at our website at www.greatsoftwaretools.com. Now, as passionate as we are to help schools integrate this valuable technology into their classrooms, we are equally dedicated to helping people learn to use Graphic Toolbox. A perfect way to get started is with our Getting Started with Graphics Toolbox tutorial videos. They take you step by step through four popular projects. They run about 45 to 60 minutes long, but are set up in chapters so you can stop and start as needed. We suggest that you have the video and the Graphics Toolbox open at the same time. Watch part of the video, pause it, toggle to Graphic Toolbox, try out the technique, then go back to the video and watch more. People have found these to be a great way to learn the program. We've also begun creating downloadable project kits that teachers and schools can buy that provide them with the files, templates, and complete instructions for creating valuable curriculum projects. They are a great way to learn Graphics Toolbox while creating projects that meet core curriculum standards. Thank you for attending our webinar, and we hope to have the opportunity to talk with you personally about helping your school integrate Graphics Toolbox into your curriculum. Call or email us for further information and pricing. Thank you.